Today I'm sharing with you guys the best four ways that we can prepare for the brand new class, the Blood Knight, coming into Diablo Immortal. We have a little bit of footage, a little bit of what this Blood Knight looks like, and it's a class that most people are going to probably be switching to, let's be honest. But there's a couple of things that we could do over the next few days so that we're the best prepared to rack up, gear up, and get this class as strong as possible as quickly as possible inside of the game so let's pause this right here let's actually get rid of it for now let's dive into the live game the first thing that you need to do and that you should be doing is saving up as much gold as you possibly can as it sits i have 5.3 million gold now why should we be saving gold why is this important first of all it's important because you're going to be coming on over here to the rarities and antiques dealer and you're going to be trying to buy 10 items per day 10 mysterious weapons and 10 primary armors this is going to allow you to unlock the different essences that are available or potentially unlock them so that you can have your blood knight built out as optimally as possible if you don't have gold you'll be missing out on 20 legendary items per day which is the possibility or i should say 20 items per day with the possibility of getting legendary items in that all right that's a pretty easy one to be honest with you it's nothing that's crazy difficult but there's other things that we could do as well one of them is save up the legendary gear that you already have stocked. So take a look at this right here. We'll take a look at my satchel and you'll notice, look at all of these pieces of le legendary gear. Boom. All of these items, if I utilize them when I switch to the Blood Knight, I should be getting Blood Knight gear. And these are what? 6, 12, 18, 19, 20 pieces of legendary gear that I have saved up in preparation for switching over to the Blood Knight and needing gear for those essences. As it sits, I have all the essences and all the items needed for the Barbarian, so it'll be a waste for me to use them here just to try and get stronger gear. I love the idea of saving this for the new class so I could be in good hands when that eventually launches. Now, in addition to that, we're going to get into our third thing that we should really be looking at, and that is the Fabled Wisps. These right here, from whatever your difficulty, whatever hell level, or if you're in inferno difficulty like I am, you want to save these up as much as you can. And the reason is, and the reason why you want this is, just in case, we're going to want to be switching over our set items. Now I'm going to show you momentarily what mine look like, and we can kind of see right there, once this blacksmith finally presents himself, if we go to set crafting, we can craft anything that we want for our current class. So if I have enough of those wisps, then I'll be able to spend them on secondary gear that I may want for the Blood Knight. With that being said, with my Barbarian setup the way that I have it, I think I'm probably going to be okay. Because right now I'm rocking two pieces of Vithu's Urges. And we're rocking right here a four piece of Grace of the Flagellant. These really transfer well to other classes as well. So to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to be playing around too much with different uh, secondary gear. But in case I am, I'm going to start grinding some dungeons so I can get those fabled wisps. And then I'll have what I need to do a few changes when the time comes. All right, that's three of the four or five that I want to share with you. The other one is something that I have not been doing. And it's something that I have slacked on and that I need to probably get going on this week. And that is, well, fishing, guys. You got to go fishing because remember, when you grab those fish, if you hold on to, I believe it's 20 epics, that's 20 opportunities at legendary items you can get from fishing. So not a bad idea for you to go out there, take your bait, take your rod, spend some time fishing when you're casually watching some TV and grab those epic fish hold on to them and save them so that when it's time for the blood night, it's ready to go and you're all set. Now, something else that I want to just mention here, and this is going to be coming up in a future video as well, but something that I want to mention right now initially is make sure you're collecting your skins on the class you want them to be on. Right now, we started season 15. I've already grabbed the weapon from this cosmetic we need to keep in mind here this is on my barbarian switching over once we get to the final tier and we finally get the new skin i need to decide and this is probably only going to be 
two weeks from now, I need to decide, do I want this cosmetic on my Barbarian? Or am I going to want the cosmetic on the Blood Knight? Now, I'm a Barbarian for life. Until a class comes around that I like better. I can't wait to get my hands on the Blood Knight to see if I do like it better. But then would I want to collect the skin on my Barbarian where I hold the weapons or on the Blood Knight where if it's my new favorite class and I plan on staying it for a while, I may want an option to switch into. Remember, these classes and these cosmetics are class bound. Unless if there's just a small handful of them that you maybe paid a lot of money for or ones that you had pre-registered for some other games or pre-registered for Diablo Immortal where you may have some things, uh, some skins that are cross class. So I believe right now when we look at events, we have an example right here of, here we go, the Phantom Market. If we explore this, this is a place where you can get a skin that's cross class. This can be used across any classes inside of the game. Now remember, in getting this skin, the odds of unlocking it are quite slim, right? If we're looking at this right here, uh, the Crimson Armor is 1.9%. That's after me. Oh, oh, actually, no. The Hatred Cosmetic Set, 0.11%. Which means I'm going to have to roll and roll and roll until I actually get it. Which, at the end of the day, will cost you about $170. So is it worth getting a skin? Now, let's be honest. This skin is amazing looking. It's um, maybe one of the best looking skins we've seen yet inside of Diablo Immortal. But is it worth 170 bucks? to have it across all classes and on your Barbarian or whatever your primary class is. For me, I would say no. For you, that could be something different. Uh, that's really gonna be up to you and what you like. And let's close out things here with a little more Blood Knight footage just to kind of bring a little bit of hype to what we're actually bringing here to the game. So I'm looking forward to Blood Knight. This is dropping on the 13th. I will be doing some live streaming as well during that time. So make sure that you're around. I will be live streaming for four hours on the 13th and four hours on the 14th. Make sure you guys are there. I'll have cards up ahead of time so you know about it. And now, by the way, we just got a box in the mail as well. Uh, this is not a box from Blizzard. This is a box that comes from one of my favorite companies that I've worked with uh, for quite a long time. And let's turn off the audio here. This is from a brand called Raccoon Brand. Yes, we've had this hat for quite a while. What's inside of the box? Well, a new raccoon brand hat, of course, to replace the old one. Which one looks better? Let me know in the comments section below. Let me know if you're excited for the Blood Knight and if you're taking these tips so that you have the guidance you need along the way. I'll see all you guys back here for another Diablo Immortal video later today or tomorrow.